there seems to be a big misconception. People are understanding wrong about what's going on with fate. And there's a comment that I want to read. And it has to do with this video. We just had the banquet of kings. And it was quite deep episode. And people are really saying, like, this is one of their favorite episodes. Blah, blah, blah. And in the video, right? There's a comment from Mr. Stellaru Nocte9320. And he's saying... It's such a shame that the quality of an anime has a negligible impact on the viewership of that anime's reactions. How is Rimuru fan service outperforming this masterpiece of dialogue and intrigue? And first things first, I don't think that Fate is doing bad. A lot of people are up in arms because they misunderstood this video where I say I can't believe how delusional the monkeys are in a video where people are saying you need to react to unlimited blade works next bro the iron is hot you're doing fate zero and in that video I told them like brother the iron is not hot the iron is cold but it doesn't mean that it's performing bad let's look at the actual analytics for you know episode 16 or 11 right look at this shit it's in the upper end right it's not that Fate Zero is doing bad. It's just that it's not an exceptional show like ReZero. So don't get it twisted. Fate is doing perfectly fine. But this comment, right? But this comment is something that I do want to talk about. Why is Rimuru fan service outperforming this masterpiece in dialogue? It is, is, it, is it a barrier of entry thing? I believe so. I truly believe that a show deep as complex as Fate in terms of the clash of ideologies and philosophies, a lot of people are intimidated by that and get filtered out. The average monkey doesn't care for a clash of ideals and philosophy. The average monkey cannot understand or appreciate the complexities in storytelling. The average monkey just wants to see Rimuru in the bikini. And there is way more average monkeys compared to pseudo-intellect with a much more refined taste in anime. It makes a lot of sense to me. And he says that's a fair take, but one would think that only applies to what one watches for themselves. No, you can only see from the lens of yourself where you're not the average monkey. You think this because this contradicts what you believe in. But I have viewer audience statistics and analytic, analytics that I'm seeing and you know trying to interpret them at a greater scale. I absolutely see the appeals of fan service and such, but I don't see the appeal in watching people react to fan service. And the exact same people will tell you about how they see no appeal in watching another guy talk about and react to Fate Zero and talk about the deep story writings and the ideologies of characters. As for the average ape not appreciating the complexities in storytelling, this is fucking fate. Sure, it's deeper than most battles shown in, but at the end of the day, it's not that complex. No, I think that the way that Fate Zero has handled itself, in the way that they do exposition, in the way that they converse, I think that it is definitely a filter. There's a lot of buzzwords, these key jargon that my chat is obviously helping me out to understand the story. But even if that wasn't the case, I still think that Fate is a bit too big brain for the average monkey. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just jaded in general. I need to give love us a fuck. No, it's totally fine. And... Here's what I want to show you on a graph. I want to explain to you exactly so that you can like visualize why people are... <laughs> I, I, this graph will pretty much explain why... <laughs> Bikini Rimuru, right? Bikini Rimuru, uh, water wet shirt Rimuru is doing way better in Fade. And it, it's very easy. Let, let me explain to you what's going on. In this graph, we have an X and a Y axis. The x-axis is an IQ, right? The more right it goes, the higher the IQ. Then we have monkeys, the population on the y-axis. And the higher it goes, the more monkeys there are. I'm about to draw you a line, a graph. And I'm going to try my best, and this is not going to be the best graph in the world. But I believe that this is the distribution that is scientifically proven. A lot of people have done studies on this, of how IQ and, you know, population correlates. So there's a lot of people here like this. And then eventually everyone kind of is right in the middle of the pack. And then it kind of levels down like this, right? Kind of like this. And let's see. Monkey cute. Let me get a picture of a cute monkey. <laughs> this is not a cute monkey. This is a cute monkey. All right. And we're going to put this monkey here. And this is where the average monkey is, right? The average monkey is right over here. The average monkey doesn't care for super deep philosophical shows. The average monkey 
is the average person and I, I don't think that I am beyond the average monkey. No, I think that I am well within the means of here. I'm definitely here. I don't think that I'm stupid, nor do I think that I have the supreme intellect. I'm very aware of my limitations and my capabilities. I've seen what true prodigies and geniuses are back at university. I'm not that. But at least I have the awareness and I try to understand why things are in life. And vast majority of people watching anime, they're most likely over around here, right? Most people watching anime are just in here. I'm not saying the average anime watcher is by any means stupider than the average, I don't know, person in society. But I also don't think that there is this like, these people are just doing different things in life. These people are just succeeding in life, accomplishing their dreams, building businesses, having fulfilling relationships. They're not here fucking watching a random dude yap about anime. But let's, for the sake of argument, say that these people, the highly intellect, are the ones that can appreciate the complexities and the idealistic clashes in Fate Zero. Or even, let's bring up this example in a poll, right? <laughs> Bake Monogatari. For sure, Bake is objectively the big brain show here, right? I think some people might say Tomodachi Games too. But in a show with such deep dialogue and riveting fucking, you know, storytelling, I, you, you would think that this is the big brain show. But Bake will never win. You know why Baki will never win over monkey shows like this? And I'm not saying Assassin, Assassination Classroom is a stupid show. But when you compare these two, look at the graph. There is way more people that are on, on the, this side of the graph, bro. They want to see the fun unga Boonga shit, right? But you are right over here, right? You are complaining that you're, you, you lie and... This isn't me glazing that he's like a smart viewer or anything, but he probably thinks that like, why can't, why can't these people appreciate why these people can't enjoy? Because just statistics, populations, there's much more average stupid people in the world than smart people. Think how smart, or rather, think how stupid the average person is, right? Think how stupid the average person is right here. And realize that half of these motherfuckers are even dumber than that. These dudes want to see Rimuru in a bikini. These dudes want to see Rimuru getting wet t-shirt. And not. I'm not saying that smart people can't appreciate this and only stupid people can. But it makes a lot of sense to me why shows that are seemingly deeper and a little bit more complex are filtering out this average audience and therefore the people here are up in arms thinking oh my god it's such a great anime and i agree fate is phase zero is a fucking just phenomenal anime i love it but i also understand why my viewers are behaving like this and on top of that do not get it twisted do not get it twisted in assuming that the fate fandom is dead no this is the people watching this shit they're my community. I am not able to tap into that external fake community that exists out there. It's, a, it's just the game of YouTube, man. It's hard to just always branch out to different topics and immediately get that audience to come to you and just watch that shit. And then some people will say, well, shit, I think that ReZero is actually more big brain than fate. Why is ReZero getting way more viewership? A couple things. The reason ReZero is getting more viewership is because the channel identity, the channel identity, as in, of the 20,000 people here, a lot of them enjoy Isekai. Phase Zero is not really an Isekai, even though you have other worlders coming in, right? Heroic Servants, blah, blah, blah. But it's not that you wouldn't consider it really like an Isekai ReZero. So not only do I have that niche, that audience already that enjoys Isekais, ReZero is also one of the best Isekais ever, if not the best. And on top of that, in a couple of weeks, Season 3 is coming, right? There's a lot of different variables that's contributing to this higher than average viewership. While Fate seemingly is doing bad, but again, Fate isn't doing bad. It's performing average. It's meeting expectations. It's just that I'm not able to tap into the wider audience at the current moment. It is what it is. I hope this graph kind of explains to you the logic of why, how objectively great of a show, the more smart it is, sometimes it leads to worse performance on YouTube. Because just again, think about the average person. There is way more average people then there is smart people. And if you're truly smart, if you claim to be a supreme intellect person that enjoys high refined animes, surely you can use that supreme intellect 
and extrapolate from this graph and understand why the numbers are the way they are.